Hello and I hope you're doing well. On this video we're going to take a look at this jump starter and portable power by Shimelha Pro. It has 750 peak amp. It also says here that you can start SUV cars. It has a power port of 12 volts. Worry free hookup. It comes with a compressor 150 PSI and he says that it has two times faster USB charging and here it also tells you it's for four to eight cylinder vehicles so let's take a look here on the sticker it does say to charge immediately upon receipt I imagine because most of the time these things sit on the shelf for a long time before somebody buys it it's not gonna come fully charged okay so again it says here charge immediately after purchase for 36 hours and after, and it, this is true for any battery uh, any batteries that you don't use often you have to keep them charged uh, that's speakers, uh, any battery that can be charged. Do not let it sit dead for a long time. It's not good for the battery. It, the battery life does not last that long. I'll charge it probably once a month. And it probably says that here. So let's take a look. It says it right here to keep... The battery charged and after every use every 30 days on this side it has a 12 volt uh, lighter plug you can use the USB here on the front so here's the light here's the compressor on this side you have the gauge here and here is the plug you have the turn on and off for the compressor kind of loud and then you have your cables it's pretty cool that you have them here so they can stay there and same thing on the other side if you press this button and the light is green that means that 80% or more of the battery is charged if it's yellow which is in the middle it's between 20% and 80% and if it's on the red it's 20% so if it's on the red charge it immediately if you are going to charge it you gotta plug this in here of course you have to use a, an extension cord and when you plug this in this light is gonna turn red and once it turns off it might take up to 72 hours to do that it's fully charged crank the engine for no more than 8 seconds if the engine does not start, wait two more minutes before cranking it again. And if the engine does start, then turn off this switch to the off position, then you remove the clamps out of the posts. If you are going to use the 12 bolt here, make sure that this is off first. Plug in whatever you're going to plug in here on the lighter side, and then you can turn it on. If you're going to use the air compressor, make sure that first the clamps are into place like they are right now. Then put this into your bike tire or car tire or whatever, sports ball, whatever you have. So these are different things that you can use with this. And that's kind of cool that it has a bag so you can put this away. You're gonna put this into the tire. Once you have it in there, 
then you can turn this on and as soon as you see that your air pressure is to what you want it to be then just turn it off and then unplug this and after you use it then just make sure that you recharge the battery that's in here try to store it in a nice cool and dry place okay so the moment of truth I actually turned on the radio of my car for a long time and I kept turning it on until the battery is drained so if I start the car now it doesn't do anything the battery is dead what we need to do is first find out which poles or which pole is which we have the positive here red and the negative so let's uncover this there so now what we're gonna do is put our jump starter here on the side it doesn't have to be right next to it but it's it's probably easier if it's right here and this comes with a light so if you want to turn on the light there's a little light it's not much light right now but something but anyway so we're gonna grab the red post and put it with the red we're gonna put the black one to black as you can see that light turns on and the next thing is to give it power so we're gonna switch this to the on position it seems like some things inside the car turned on so we're gonna turn off whatever it's inside since the battery is completely dead what I'm gonna do is give it a a minute or so so you can charge and then since I have a remote start on the car I'm gonna remote start it with this once it starts what I'm gonna do is turn this off and then take off the posts I just realized that the car will not start if the hood is open that's why I have to be inside to be able to start the car okay so I'm pressing on the brake Wow, it did start. Let's turn this off. Let's take the clamp off first. One. Then the other. And then let's just take this off. Let's put this back. And that's it. It worked. I hope this video helps you in any way. Thank you for watching and enjoy.